you were just blowing up, girl, all of a sudden. I'm like, who is this pretty girl who's on the scene with tons of talent? So super impressed. And then you were on three stages at South by Southwest? Um, Pandora, Fader, and Hip Hop DX. What was that like? Like, were you nervous? That's a huge event. So many people. Um, no. I was excited to go on stage, especially at night when I was at Pandora. Yeah. It's like a, it's like an adre- adrenaline rush. So you were, you were feeling it, like mm-hmm. good vibes. Yeah. Now, tons of artists there, different genres and everything. Did you network a lot? Um, not really, because they had the um, the what do you call it, the. We go on stage. It was kind of like broken up. So okay. There was like gaps, and then like after we performed, we had to go somewhere else. So I didn't really get the opportunity to like meet other artists, except I did like at Fader Fort. Mm-hmm. So it was exciting just to see other artists in my position. That's awesome. Did anybody there that you're like, I want to collab with that person. I like their voice. I like their style. Mm, honestly, I didn't have the opportunity. I mean, mm-hmm. the only person I really got to see perform was Tanache. Mm-hmm. And, like, she's already established, but what I didn't know was that she's a really great performer. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like, she can sing really well, and she can dance really well live, so that was really impressive. It's fun to see, because you don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of people sound good when they come out of the studio, but you don't know what they're going to sound like right. on that stage. But I heard you did amazing Thank as well you. on all three stages. Thank you. So I was really impressed. And then, on top of all your success, you released last Friday. Mm-hmm. You dropped the EP. Hi, Maintenance. Uh-huh. So I was a little surprised. High Maintenance is a, a song on there. I yeah. really thought it was going to be called Icy Girl. No, so we were going to do Icy or Icy Girl, but then I was like, I don't think that covers all of the songs. Mm-hmm. So I think High Maintenance was a better fit for everything. Do you think you're High Maintenance? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But what I mean by that, like I've said this in a couple of other interviews, but like, you know, like, my body's high maintenance because I eat good. Like, my soul's high maintenance because I pray a lot. Like, I really care for the people around me, so that's high maintenance. So everything about me is high maintenance. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's, that's mm-hmm. pretty. Yeah. I like that. That's pretty, yeah. So you are, you're a strong Christian then? When you, you say you pray a lot. Apostolic Christian, yeah. I was raised in the church. My grandparents are pastors. How does that fit into the hip-hop world? Um... I know, well, I know that my grandma just don't like to hear me cuss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so that's, that's that's something that she's just like, oh, I support you, baby. But, you know, I'm going to purchase the, the clean version. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, I feel like, I don't know, just being raised, I feel like that's what c- kind of keeps me classy. I like that. Mm-hmm. Is it is there a lot of temptation, though, just because you're at? Temptation in, like, what? In terms I mean, of you're at parties. There's a lot going on. You're pretty. I know there's people in your DMs. Thank you. I know you got stuff going on. So, I Thank mean, you. is there a lot of temptation in that world to stay a little more on the clean side? I mean, I don't I don't really think it's temptation at all. Mm-hmm. Like, I grew up, I didn't grow up, but I w- I've been living in L.A. for, I want to say four, maybe going on five years. So, it's like, you're around that constantly. And it's kind of mm-hmm. like... You kind of get tired of it because it's, it's, a, it's a repetition. It's like a recycling of people. And you kind of don't want to get caught up in that world because then you just kind of get washed up. Right. Yeah. But you do have some edgy songs. Though. Don't get mad at me, but I was listening. Uh-huh. You got Good Good. Uh-huh. You got Agua. But like, it's, it's very... Well, Agua, Agua, I'm talking about like Agua jewelry. Mm-hmm. Um, good Good. Good Good is just based on a real story. So I right. feel like I'm just telling my story of how I felt towards a certain person. Right. Um, but, yeah, the good good ain't for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's for select view. <laughs> so you may, be, you may be freaky, but it's only for you know. You know, those for, who've that, earned for, it. That, for that special person. <laughs> uh-huh. And you do talk about, like, getting in your bag a lot. It's yeah. in your intro and everything. Uh-huh. So do you want to stay away from relationships for a while and focus just on the music? I feel like I would get into a relationship if it made sense. I'm not, like, mm-hmm. locking myself up, like, oh, no, I'm not going to be in a relationship. It's just right. kind of like if you make sense and if you add to my grind and my hustle, then I'm all for it. Has there been a lot of people who have shown interest, especially since the blow up of Icy Girl? Oh, yeah. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> she, mm, yeah, okay. With your humble self. Uh, yeah, but I'm really focused right now. So if you really don't bring anything to the table in, in terms of, like, motivating me to, like, want to do more, then I really have no interest. Like, I'm not really into distractions right now. I got a lot going on. Definitely. Do you, 
Um, are, do you have like a tour coming up, or what are you gonna do now that this EP is out? Um, we're gonna try to um, conjure up a tour. Mm-hmm. We have a couple of um, people in mind, but right now we're just doing spot dates. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. And I gotta ask about your nickname because I thought it was super cute. You said it came from your grandma. Yeah. So why why not just sweetie? Why is so weedy? I think sweet just looked too sweet. <laughs> it just looked too. I don't. I didn't like how it looked, and I put it on my MySpace, mm-hmm. and then you know my MySpace was popping, so that's how it kind of like stuck. So it's kind of like, oh, you're sweetie, like from MySpace. So I'm just like from oh, MySpace. Yeah, that's me. Like when I would go out to like little functions, right? But um, everybody just started calling me that. Like people who I went to high school. Some people don't even know that what my real name is. It's it's like a longer name. So I could I don't remember what it was. Dem, Dem- no, what was it? Diamante. Diamante. I was uh-huh. like I kind of knew it, but it, yeah. it was longer. Uh huh. Because what what ethnicity are you? Do you have a cultural background? My mom is um, Filipino and Chinese, and my dad is black. I was gonna say you're definitely mixing something. And Diamante, like yeah, that's Diamante. not. Yeah, that's Spanish though. I mean Diamante. I mm. feel like Spanish people say it's so pretty, but yeah, it has an accent over the e. Well, you've mm-hmm. confused a lot of people with sweetie though. Like I remember when you first came out, a lot of people were like. Sawadi and like it's, calling you all sorts of I things. I feel like it's so simple. It's just so weedy. Yeah. <laughs> so when you did the Fendi Beauty commercial, mm-hmm. did you get to meet Rihanna? No, I didn't. Not yet. Really? Yeah, I would love to though. She seems really cool. How did that commercial come about? So my homegirl who I went to school with, I went to USC, graduated, but my homegirl who um, I majored with her and everything, she's really cool. She actually works for the Fendi um, marketing team. And okay. she pitched me to them through my IC Go music video, and they fell in love. And like, oh, let's collab. So it kind of just made sense. But all those girls who you saw in that video went to USC. So we all like, yeah. So it was all of our, it was all the friends, all the homegirls, and we just like they liked our chemistry together. Right. And then we were able to do the fancy beauty commercial. So when you were like, bitch, you really yeah. meant it. Like yeah. those were your girls. Yeah. No, That's those are my, my awesome. homies. Yeah. Definitely on the go. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to some of those spot tours. You better come back to Tampa. Girl, you know I will. I'm trying to check it out, girl. <laughs>